Hey everyone, Taj Harris here, welcoming you to another edition of my BTS videos. Stands for biceps, triceps, shoulders. I like to refer to it as bikinis, tank tops, and spaghetti straps because when we have our arms out, we're usually wearing those types of tops. And when we have those tops on, we want our arms to look fabulous. So, what we do in this video is six exercises consecutively, and we're not going to take a break, so I'm going to show you what they are first. So our first move is called a concentrated bicep curl. So we're going to come down to somewhat of a squat. You've got to open up those legs for a concentrated curl. Then we're going to go all the way down to the ground and lift our hips up in a tabletop. From there, we're coming back up onto our feet, and we're doing arm circles. From that, we're bringing our hands in, and we're doing bicep punches or forward punch. After that, we're taking our, ourselves back down to the floor. I know, a little up down, but it's okay. You'll burn a little few extra calories. And we're doing tricep dips, and we can add dumbbells to bring the floor a little further away from us. And we're going to stand up one last time, and we're doing a Y press. So the arms go up. All right, so now that you know what we're doing, make sure you have some weights nearby. As you can see, I have two sets because a couple of exercises might be a little bit easier with lighter weight and so maybe you have the same option at home but let's start with the heavier set are you ready let's go so pick up those weights come on down to a squatted position turn your toes out some the elbows are in towards the thighs and we're drawing the arms by uh, bending the elbows to draw the hands up towards the shoulders make sure you're pulling your belly button in we're really trying to keep the arms still as we concentrate on the biceps Good, so remember this is just 30 seconds. Now of course, yes, this is a BTS video, but we're in squad. So that means you get a little extra love for your buns and your quads. Good, 30 seconds is done. Put those weights down. Come on down to the ground. We're gonna hold the tabletop. So this is very important. I want your fingers pointing directly forward towards your toes, not backwards. Press those hips up as high as you can. Put a little bit more weight forward into the knee so you're not leaning back like this into the shoulder. Kind of want to be on all fours position. Deep breath in and out. We're just holding it here until we get that timer go off. Now I know some of you are like, OMG. So for some of you, if you have really strong hamstrings, whoo, well, I'll explain that later. Get back up. So we're going to grab those weights. I'm going to go with the lighter weights. We're going arm circles. So here we are. Standing up nice and tall. So while we're arm circling, as I was about to say when we're down on the floor, when you have those hips up, it may feel a little bit of stress in those hamstrings, but that's okay. So keep circling it. 30 seconds. Good. You got this. Wow, this is going to be really heavy. Come on. And down. Let's keep these same weights, and we're going to our punches. So we're punching forward. Now what's really important about this, especially since we have weight in our hands, don't just jab it out there and pull the elbows. Be in control of the weight. Now if this is not heavy enough, maybe next round I'm gonna go a little bit heavier. Good, keep going. Not to work. All right, we're coming back down to the ground. Pick up your heavy weight, that weight a little higher, and we're doing our dips. So. Here we are, up and down. Try to keep those hips up as high as you can and just bend the elbows and press up and down. Good. So basically, taking a tabletop and adding a dip. Keep working. Oh, what an arm, you tired. Nice, 30 seconds. All right, back on our feet. Wise, take a while over your head. Yes. Good. So we're bringing the arms down toward the side and pressing up and to make a Y. Beautiful. After this, we're going to take a one minute break. I'll we'll stretch it out. We'll rest these arms. Because my arms are burning. Come on. You got it. One more. And beautiful. Take those weights, put them down. Woo. Roll it out. How are you feeling out there? Are you feeling a little sore? I'm feeling a little sore. But soreness is good. Soreness means that we are working, that we're actively
activating those muscles. And when we're doing these exercises, here's something to think about. Yes, you're sore. And you're probably gonna be sore maybe for a day or two. But that doesn't mean you're gonna rest until like the soreness goes away and come back next week. You wanna try to focus on exercising your muscles at least, you know, two to three times a week. That's how we keep consistency and we start to see those results that we want or maintain the level that we have at the moment or increase whatever is going on, right? Take it forward. Good, take your arms up. All right, we're going back to those concentrated bicep curls. 30 seconds. Nice. Up and down. Good. So we're like concentrating on the arms. Get a little extra leg work in there today. Why not? Sometimes you gotta throw some extra body parts in there. Oh, you don't get the word. All of those arms. Good. Here we go. Put those weights down. Good. Take your arms up. Good. 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 Lift it up. Yep. You got this. Now, if you ever want to make your tabletop a little more challenging, you can lift one foot off the floor. Make sure you lift the other foot so it's down and out. Keep breathing in. My shoulders are going to be heavy. Woo! All right. Come on up. Let's grab those legs. Weight to Go into shoulder circles. I'm going to go backwards this time. Good. Let's breathe, making those arm circles. Small bend in your elbows, can you see that folks? Don't lock your elbows out. Breathing out, stand nice and tall. And I'm not going too big, but I'm making nice even circles with both arms. Yes. Good, taking the arms down, punching it forward. So if you are feeling a little stressed out, Maybe about work or your relationship or something going on in your family. You can think about punching it away. Good. Just reach and reach. Perfect. Get your rocky on. Or what was that girl? The girl movie? I can't remember, but you like that girl fighter. Or Layla Ali. We could be like her. All right, here we go. From here, back down to the ground. We're doing our tricep dips. Oh, need my heavier weights. Lift those hips, bend it down. Good. Breathe and bend. So you see I had to change weight. If you use those really small weights, your hands may not fit comfortably underneath them. So that's another reason why you want to have bigger weights, especially for this. All right, here we go. Back on our feet. I'm gonna go a little bit lighter this time. Wide press, arms up. Yes. You got it. Why do you like working out so much? Why do I like feeling this feeling? Oh my gosh. Come on. Because I like to feel good. I like to look good in my clothes. Yeah. For me, fitness is a lifestyle. It's something that I live for. And we're almost done. Beautiful. At the end of round two, I'm going to put my weights down and enjoy my break. Hopefully you're gonna enjoy yours. Let's take the arms, reach them forward, turn the palms up, press. Mm. Take the arms, take them back behind you, open up. So I've worked my arms out before and there have been days where I'm like, oh, I can barely take a shower now. But that's okay, it's temporary. You know, that just means that you worked your muscles. <laughs> take it out, shake it out. And they'll get over it. You'll come back to the exercises the next time around. And believe it or not, it actually won't be so bad. You don't have the same level of, ooh, this hurts every time you do it. Unless you're taking very long gaps in between doing the workout. So keep that in mind. Consistency helps to make it better for you. Not just physically, but mentally. All right. Time for those weights. Concentrated curls. Here we go. It's our last set. Pull that belly in. Squeeze those levels up. Nice. Be sure not to hit yourself with the dumbbells. 
You got it. Hang in there. We're gonna sit on down. Or at least get on down. Not quite sitting. Here it is. Weights down. Tabletop. Heads to the sky. Come on. Press up. Press up. Press up. This is our last one. Make sure your fingers are pointing forward. Lift, lift, lift. Breathe it out. It is people, it is fun. I hope you feel the same way. Even though it may be a little, you know, work. That's why it's called work out. Alright, let's work out and get up. Grab those light weights. Circle those arms. Uh-huh. So I'm gonna do about 15 seconds in one direction because we're only doing this for three rounds. And then I'm gonna take about 15 seconds in the opposite direction. That way we balance it out. So yeah, I'm kind of counting it out in my head here. That's about 15, so let's go the opposite way. Good, you got this. Wow, these are getting really heavy. Come on, and now, let's keep these same weights and we're going to our punches. So we're punching forward. Now what's really important about this, especially since we have weight in our hand, don't just jab it out there and pull the elbows. Be in control of the weight. Good. Keep going. Nice work. All right, we're coming back down to the ground. I'm gonna switch to my heavier weights. I'm doing my dips. This is my last set. Press down and up. Ooh. Remember, you don't have to use weights if you don't have them. You can put your hands flat on the floor, but having dumbbells gives you a little more space to actually dip up and down. It's our last set of dips, people. You got this. Rest. Rest. Good. Coming back onto our feet. Woo. Here we go. Taking it back to our Y's. Good. Arms overhead. Pull that belly and stand up nice and tall. This is our last exercise. What? You got this. Yeah. Burning. Trembling. Me too. One more. Weights down. Ooh. Woo! We made it. My arms are burning. I wish there was like a thing you could see, like you could see the level of stuff that's going on. Cause sometimes I think you guys feel like, I don't feel anything. That I'm just making it look really easy. But trust me, I'm feeling it. And hopefully you're feeling it too. Go ahead and switch that. Maybe I should invent it out of this machine so you can see the level of difficulty. Take the hands behind your back. Open it up. Good, bring your hands in front. Around, take your spine. Take those arms over your head, and then take it down. So that was the end of another round of bikinis, tank tops, and spaghetti straps, also known as biceps, triceps, and a shoulder workout. So I hope that you had a great time today. And if you haven't experienced or watched my other BTS videos, please, by all means, check them out. They're all about 12 minutes long. You can feel free to pair them up with one of my other videos that's focusing on lower body or abdominals, I have some core work out there, even have some flexibility stuff. So you choose how much time you have in your day to give and or maybe you're gonna add this on to your existing workout, who knows? But whatever you do, be sure to subscribe. That's very important. Subscribe to the channel and share, share with all your friends, your family, your coworkers, and I hope to see you back here real soon.